Hey guys, welcome back to some brand new Ultimate Arc here on the channel. <laughs> we got a derpy parasaur just stuck in my base. He literally just got there. Maybe we should put him out. He's misery. There we go. He's he's gone. He's not gonna he's not gonna harvest anymore. Anyway, so I have some good news and I have some bad news. Um, maybe we'll talk about the good news first. So first of all. Since the last episode, as you can see, we have walls. I did mention in the last episode that I wasn't really going to include, like, building episodes as part of the series, because it's not a step that is, like, necessary to actually fight the Overseer, and that's what the series is about on the island. We're going to take the steps that we need to take to actually get up to the point where we can kill the Overseer. we got to kill all the bosses, then the Overseer. So there's no point of having a building episode. It's kind of pointless. So, yeah, um... We went ahead and tamed up a mammoth. We were looking for one in the end of the last episode, and it took me a little while longer to actually find one. So we got one, I think it was like a level 130, and we just kind of like dragged it back towards the base area, and we just kind of tamed it up on the way. Um, by the way, with the walls, there is a few little gaps that I need to patch up. These are like the large stone walls, so they're like four high, so that's like the one wall right there. Um, but yeah, so I tamed up the mammoth back here, and I was using that, and here's the bad news. While I was going around collecting wood, um, I, like, obviously creatures were getting in and they were attacking and, like, at this stage I wasn't really planning on doing the walls yet, but the creatures were all attacking and eventually, at some stage, some raptors or something dragged my RG all the way over to there-ish and, uh, they killed it. So that really sucks. We lost the RG. I think it was a 1-4-5 tame and, um, that really sets us back. It really does. So we gotta go ahead and try to tame another RG today, or maybe, I don't know, like whenever we find a good one, really. Uh, which saber do I want to take with me today? You've got the better weight, so I'll probably bring you. How heavy am I? Oh wow, I'm super heavy on him. We're gonna have to drop some crap. So we're gonna have to tame a new RG, that's gonna have to be a thing. Um, but today, I wanted to start off by trying to go into the snow. I want to head up there, and I want to try and get some oil. So we gotta head up to the coast, and... Uh, and get to the stage where we can actually get the oil and bring it all back. We don't need a huge amount, but we need a little bit. Uh, first of all, let me let me see. What can we drop here? I, I, we can put away the chitin armor. That stuff is pretty heavy. Because we're not going to need that. We're going to need the fur armor. Apparently still have a large wall on me. Uh, oh, we still have a helmet. There we go. i got to grab the rest of the fur armor out of here. What is on you that's weighing you down? Where's he gone? Oh, he's follow he's following the mammoth. <laughs> Derp. All right. Let's go ahead and grab him back. So we're going to figure out uh, what's so heavy. Oh, you've got a bunch of stuff on you. Come here. Let's dump all this back out. Oh, man. So anyway, guys, rip RG and uh, make sure that you hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. Oh, man. What is this? Episode 6. We've got 34 to complete the island. <laughs> Let's put these in here as well. Why not? Um, I think we're making good progress so far, but we're gonna have like slight setbacks like today's one where we have to go off and tame another RG But it's okay. I mean, we, we still have plenty of time. I think we're gonna make it so I actually wanted to bring my shotgun with me, but now I don't think I will uh, Shotguns in here. I wanted to bring this as like protection so hmm. Well, let's let's put the RG saddle back here for the moment. Uh, we're probably not gonna need two uh, maybe I should probably bring two rifles. Let's not bring the tranks though. I don't think I'm gonna tame anything out here, so we shouldn't need them. Uh, and we're not gonna need these as well. All right, so we've got the shotgun. We've got a long neck. We don't need that much ammo with us. Let's just bring 50. And we'll bring some bolas, but we won't bring all of them. And I think that's it. Like how much? How heavy am I now? 94. All right, I'm not too bad. You're not too bad either. All right, let's go ahead and just drop the rest. So we got a little bit of weight to carry back some stuff. Oil doesn't weigh too much, so shouldn't be too bad. I don't want to pump weight on him, though. I think I'll pump health. All right, so we're going to take this saber, Kyber, all the way over to the coast. Let me just double check that I have everything that I need. I have all the fur, ba -ba, food. Okay, we're good. Let's head on over. So yeah, the, the whole base thing here, um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way that it turned out. It's quite a large area to use. The gates aren't really like centered on like a certain area or anything. They're kind of just like scattered around. And um, that's okay. I kind of wanted them to be in areas where I could get creatures in and out. And there wouldn't be like rocks or weird slopes or whatever in the way. So kind of all over the place. There's so many rocks in the ground here. It's incredible. Let's just zip past everything and head up to the snow. So there's a couple dangers on the way to the coast here. 
that we have to remember. Um, Palavias do spawn in here. So that's something that we're going to have to like watch out for. <sighs> I don't like Palavias. I call them Pavlova. I'm going to call them Pavlova for the rest of the episode. Pavlova is like a cream pie cake type thing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't like them. They're they're really difficult to, to deal with because you can't really tell that they're there. Then they, like, dismount you, and it, it's the worst. I think everybody hates them. But um, they're also really useless to us right now. We don't we won't ever need to tame one. But, uh, yeah, so we have those. What else is dangerous in here? Like, dire wolves, but I can outrun them on the saber, which is good. Um, we actually, that's a daedon. Oh, hello. Hey, let's let's get right past all you guys. <laughs> we're, uh, we're not heading in the right direction. I think we need to head further that way. What's attacking me? Is that a duck? Why are ducks attacking me? Leave me alone. <laughs> the daedons didn't even follow me. Weird. Okay, so we're only slightly cold now. That's okay. Uh, let's, how do I get around this? Head through this way. Okay. So yeah, um, Uteranus as well, dangerous. We gotta stay away from those. Yeah, uh, there's like so many bad things in here. Luckily the Dara Wolves, when they wanna attack you, they'll just start like howling, which is good for us because we don't have to deal with them for like a second because they're gonna howl and they can run ahead. <laughs> Gotta also keep an eye out for an RG actually. If we find a really good one, I wouldn't mind trying to like get it to follow us back at least to like a safer area than this. Could do another RG trap. Um Alright, how close are we getting, I wonder? Uh yeah, my map is still freaking covered up. Gotta go ahead and get to the edge here. Uh yeah, we have to head down. I went up a mountain. Oops. All right, so there should be oil down there, I do believe. And I can try and grab some silica pearls while I'm at it as well. Just get a little bit. We won't need a huge amount of silica pearls right now. Just uh, just a couple. We get down here. It's kind of like not the best area, but we'll try it. I like how sabers don't take very much fall damage though. Kind of like thylas, but. Yeah, I just took some there. A Thyla could take more of a, a leap, though. Oh, man, we need to get a Thyla at some point. That would be really handy. I know a Thyla isn't really the type of creature that you would need to fight the Overseer, but they're very useful for, like, just getting around and even just... Like, some of the caves that you can bring them into, they're just super useful. Um, there's the Ravine Cave. You can actually climb right up the side on a uh, Thyla, which is great. Let's check out this drop. Why? <laughs> Why do I need a blueprint for a frickin' smithy? I mean, that would be kind of useful, sort of, but you can't... You learn the smithy at the same level as the forge, so you'd also need a forge blueprint if you wanted to use that early game. <laughs> it's really dumb. Alright, we're here. I think the pick is the best weapon for this, right? I do believe. It's, oh. Hello. Get off me. I don't like that. You know what? I never reloaded my shoddy. Oh man. Alright, we gotta also keep an eye out for good drops. If we see one, we should probably head to it. I don't know if that blue would be worth it. Though we did hit up the blue the other time and we got the, um, what is it called? Is that a Uteranus I just heard? Yeah, there's a Uteranus up there. He's fighting some stuff though. But yeah, we got some, we got like a crossbow and, uh, and the sickle that we have here from a blue drop, so maybe it might be worth hitting up. I don't know, we'll see. Just get maybe, I don't know how much oil I'd need. At least enough to make a good amount of gasoline for now. I think we need oil for just a few other things that we're gonna be crafting soon, so. Lovely, you 15, poop. There's another oil node right here. Just gotta watch and make sure I'm not gonna get attacked by a bunch of creatures. All right, silica pearls, are they, do they even spawn here? I actually don't know. I don't think silica pearls spawn here. Man, I remember when oil was just under the water in Ark. Then they had to go ahead and make it so it could also spawn in the snow biome, which I think it was useful, but at the same time it made 
going like getting sharks and stuff like to go underneath the water made that really useful or like not useful useless because like at the very start you used to have to go into the water to get silica pearls and you used to have to go down there to get oil and some other stuff as well but i think the only thing that's really down there in abundance is black pearls and ammonite bile that's the only other thing and i guess uh what is it called the um what's this stuff called can't think of it at all <laughs> uh the biotoxin that's the one so yeah there's a few things that you have to go into the water for but it's really not worth putting a whole lot of time and effort into getting a bunch of uh, water creatures i guess there's two artifacts as well i don't know let's see bam bam got what is that like 300 oil now oh that's pavlova you see that he almost got me <laughs> get away from me what are you like a level 10 Things are vicious. Thing would have definitely killed me. You just don't even see them. <laughs> All right, I think silica pearls spawn here, but I'm not certain. Oh, there's an Avis. Hmm. Oh, hey. One of you as well, trilobite. Hey, what's up? I know you can get black pearls and different things from the trilobites as well, but black pearls are a little bit better to get down in the bottom of the ocean. All right. Let's see more penguins just gather up a little bit of polymer we can make up some of the things that we're gonna need gonna need a generator do believe that requires polymer we're gonna need the silica pearls for sure i see some there sweet for uh, the generator and some other things as well so i guess today's episode oh my god hello today's episode is all about just gearing up with some of that stuff can i take out this t-rex i don't think i can but i kind of want to try that would be a really good kill Hmm, maybe we can run up to it and just see how much damage it does to my saber. We can decide from there. This is very tempting. It's level 10, so it's a super low level. Shouldn't be hard to kill. Oh, that Eutoranus is gonna get near me, isn't he? What level are you? He's also a level 10. All right, well, let's just kill him because, crap. <laughs> let's just kill him because I don't feel like dealing with him. Should be getting pretty low. Level 10 shouldn't take too many shots. What was that? What is that? Saber? Get away from us. Oh, the shotty's nice. I like it. Oh, crap. Wow, that didn't even hit. <laughs> Get off of us. Oh, you do a lot of damage, don't you? All right. Yeah, that Carno, look at him. He does not want to come over here anymore. He wants to protect his lieutenant. Could head for that for that drop though. That could be a thing. What is that attacking him? Was that a dimorph attacking him or something? I don't even know. Missed. Why do I keep missing? I, I don't know why. I just keep randomly taking shots at this point. I don't know why I just took that one. I just zoomed straight in and then just immediately hit. I gotta actually be smart about these. <laughs> I don't have that much ammo on me. How many freaking shots are you gonna take, buddy? See, the issue is I can't get super close to him because he's gonna, he's gonna like, oh, now he's alpha boosted. Crap. Oh no. Don't fear or me. All right, maybe we can get in and do this. Oh no. No, he's gonna run me towards the Rex. You fool. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, keep running, Saber, keep running. Come on. All right, fighting that you try is a bad idea. Okay, I have control. We're good. Right, that was really dumb. Where's the other one? There he is. Poop levels. <sighs> wow. That was awesome. Oh, he's healing, so... 
Alright, got him in the neck. Let's try and pick up these RG talents. I'm gonna just be collecting every single like Apex drop from the very start of the series. So something like I always do in pretty much every single series. I just kind of like constantly collect them, even if we don't actually need them, still worth having them. So I have like a little chest back at the base. You probably saw it earlier actually. We have just a few, not too many. I really want to just come up here and just check his, uh, check his health. Oh crap. All right. I don't think we can. He's kind of angry. Oh, what did that say? I didn't even get a proper look. Oh, I thought we could outrun a frickin' Rex. Apparently we can. We can outmaneuver him though. Oh, what the? Holy crap! Hmm! <laughs> All right, checking his health was a very bad idea. I'm super weighed down as well. Huh. Shouldn't have done that. Should not have done that. That was a really bad idea. <laughs> All right, I'm not actually that weighed down apparently. I thought I was way more weighed down than this. Uh, if we need to dump weight though, we can dump out the uh, the hide. It's not a huge amount, but still, it's a little bit. Okay, so we're okay for, for health for now, I think. We need to go back and, and have a look at those silica pearls. Let's head back around the coast, though, so we don't have to deal with that Rex. Try and get a little bit more organic polymer if we can. Stuff weighs a little bit, but definitely worth bringing some back. I mean, I can easily craft some, but I gotta start heat. Bleh. I gotta start hitting up the uh, the beaver dams at some point. That's gonna have to be a thing. All right, so we could probably hit up that blue drop as well. It might have enough health on it to last. Don't know where that UT's gone. Is that him right there? He's got the Carno up by a rock there. There he is. You giraffes are tough. I thought I could take him out quicker. Guess I was wrong. All right. So, let's run around this side. There might be more penguins. Don't really see any. Seriously? I can't... Seriously? <laughs> Alright. Oh, man. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. <laughs> I wish I could get her out of this stupid rock. It was like the tiniest little rock. And I just couldn't jump over it. Man, I mean, it was only a blue drop. Not gonna be like an epic long neck in there or something. Go away, Eutronus. Please. Oh, now he's coming this way. Is he? I see the Carno's coming. Yeah, the Uchi's following. Alright, I'll see if I can get him to attack these mammoths. That would be better. He starts fighting these guys, then he's not my problem anymore. Oh, there we go. Okay, we've got a couple silk pearls in here to grab. Oh, now it's snowing. Alright. Let's see, you need to stay there, so I'm gonna put you on passive. No! No! <laughs> Why did he run right at me? He ran right at me as soon as I dismounted. Oh my god. We could just go away. Go away, leave me be. What is your problem? Attack the mammoths. I offered to, I offered them to you as tribute. <laughs> Why? Oh my god, he's just not he he wants me. Oh. Oh, hyena don see him a little bit low on health. They're gonna Try to kill me now. Everything's after me. It's great. <laughs> oh, having the RG would have made the, all of this so much easier. I could have probably even killed the Rex as well. 
No, penguin. Thank you. Thank you for your sacrifice. All right. Oh, there's another one here. Penguins are great. I love them. <laughs> all right. I think all those creatures are leaving me alone now. Hopefully, at least. Level 15. I think we've already looked at that one. All right. Where the hell is that Uteranus? Okay, the Carnos there. Just kill this Carno so the UT maybe doesn't want to fight me. Okay. Okay, are we good? Let's go ahead and try to get try to get some frickin' silica pearls so we can leave. <laughs> think we're okay. Alright, I don't have uh, scuba, so I can't get around really quick, but I could probably just hop in and out to get around quicker, actually. That would make more sense. There's a few over here. There we go. Some more down that way. Let's just bring our saber, because I don't feel like getting rushed by a Uteranus again or something. So we're a little bit safer. Those are Mega Prana. Come to me. Okay, how many silica pearls? It's not enough. We need more. Alright, there's definitely more up here though, I think. Definitely and I think. Two words that should be in the same sentence together. Okay. Uh, we could kill the duck for polymer, but I don't see the point. We already have a decent amount. All right, um, gonna need, gonna need more silica pearls for sure. Yep, we're gonna have to head over this way, I'd say. I think you can find them up this way as well. Man, this is like a whole freaking adventure here. This is what some episodes could end up being, just like an actual adventure just to get a resource, like. All right, let's grab this. kill this guy as well because I know he'll just attack me either way. Alright, we got him. Dude, how many bites? Alright, we got 57 of the silica pearls. Um, did I see another trilobite here? Don't know. Do this. Silica pearls are kind of—they're easy to spot from the surface, but there's that glare on the water, so. And I'm definitely getting heavier. I'm gonna drop that stuff. Oh, and the stone. And apparently, I had some of this as well. Cool. Black pearls are kind of heavy too. Gonna actually need to start collecting black pearls as well. Actually, we're gonna. Gonna need a decent amount of those for some of the tech items that we're gonna need for the tech cave. There we go, some more silk pearls. I probably missed a few decent spots for them as well. We can eventually tame an angler fish to make this easier, but we just need a little bit for now. Tons of sharks out there. Another blue drop. Guess we can try and head for that. Oh my god, what is that? Oh, it's a sarco! Oh! Why are Sarkos here? What the? Also, how did he not pull me off my mount? That was weird. I thought that they did that. Apparently, they don't. I don't know. Boop. Let's just get past all these darwolves. Why are Sarkos in the cold? That doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe it makes sense in general. I don't know. No, put these away. Q. Get off of me. Alright, we got him. Whew. See, this is why bringing weapons up here is a good idea. 
Ah, oh, it's baby penguins. No, what am I doing? All right, we got him. Yeah, we we need a we need to breed some sabers. Need a better one. <sighs> Don't even care. <laughs> All right, so we go ahead and pump some health. We'll do this as well. Just get them up to like a thousand. Um. All right, so we've got seventy four. Silic pearls. That will make. Oh, we got some more right here. We're good. I think we're good. What is weighing me down right now? Just everything. Oh, it's the pelt. There we go. Just got a little bit extra. How many do we have now? 89. So we can make 29 of them right now. They cost three silic pearls per electronic. I want to just get up here just to see if I can spot any more. There we go. There's got to be more out here. What is that? It's a shark. Um. Alright. So we'll go this way. Check the water over here as well. Oh, hey, we got tons right down here. Sweet. Oh, I'm apparently on. Okay, that was weird. I didn't think I was gonna fall off there. Really strange. There's a couple down here underneath this little ridge. All right. Well, this should be enough, I'd say. We definitely have enough for the moment. Like we can we can come out here and we can tame an angler fish at some point, and try to get more. But for the moment, this should be decent. Yeah, that's going to make us like 40 to 50, not actually 50, like 45 or something like that. All right. Um, let's see. So I got to make my way back. And I think what I'll do is I'll head back to base and I will see you guys when we are there. Because this episode is getting kind of long already at this point. All right, so we're back and let's go. Oh, I need some more metal in there. Let's go ahead and just make up some stuff. Uh, let's take 200 for the moment. Pop this in here. Bam. All right. So we're going to need one of these. Uh, I need the outlet, so I need the silica pearls. Let's see. Or the electronic, even. Let's get one of those. Going to have to wait for the electronic to craft, and then we can make one of these as well. Oh, what? I need something else. Okay, yeah, apparently. I just kind of added to the queue right now. All right. Um, I guess we might as well just go ahead and make a fridge as well while we're at it. And we should have enough stuff for this. All right, sweet. Uh, and then we might as well just make a couple air cons because we have, we have some polymer. It's worth it. All right. So once that electronic is done, we should be able to craft up the rest of it with the electronic that we're getting from this, I think. I think we might have enough. This costs 10. These cost 15. This costs 3. Yeah, we might only make one air con. Uh, oh, do we have enough for a bunk bed? That would be kind of useful, so we can respawn quicker. We might have enough, actually. Uh, we need fiber. Okay. Am I seriously out of fiber again? All right, let's go ahead and just grab some. There's tons of bushes out here. I do know that there's an explore note right there. I haven't hit it up yet. I plan on actually, like, collecting up just a crap ton of things to craft. Like, a lot of uh, narco berries, a decent amount of, like, spoiled meat so I can make the narcotic. And then, like, tons of stuff. Like, uh, I want to make some, like, spark powder at the same time. And then some gunpowder. Just get everything ready to craft. And then, and then grab that explore note. I know I could just do it now and like craft a few things, but I'd rather just get a bunch of stuff that I'm gonna need and then uh, take it full advantage of the XP. Now, I do know that there's tons of explore notes around though, but I know that one's like very convenient, so I won't hold on to that one for the moment. To be honest, we should just, whenever we see an explore note somewhere else, we should just hit it up either way because there's so many on the island. Like, there's. How many actually is there on the island? There's gotta be like over a hundred. So, oh, 
where did you go? Level 15. Why are they all level 15? It's so strange. Base looks pretty cool from the outside. Okay. So, we should have all that stuff crafted now. We can place it all down. Then, I think for the last thing today, I, I'm going to look and see if we can find a new RG. Crap, I need water. And I know I can't find my water jar, so we're going to have to... We're gonna have to hit up the um, the river and get some, we're gonna have to get some canteens here first. We already have one, right? Did I craft it? There it is. So apparently I need some more cementing paste. Thought I had more. Should be able to craft it though. There we go. Yeah, that's good. All right, let's craft another canteen. Ah, uh, yeah, it doesn't allow you to pull something that's currently being crafted. Because it thinks that it might be used for something. There we go. Alright, so two canteens is decent. And to be honest, I might just let my character die. Because we're right beside the bed. Oh, there's my water jar. Oh, man. I, I couldn't find it. <laughs> Alright, sweet. So we've got our generator. We've got a wire to get that going. Uh, you know what? A grill would be really useful. Do I have enough for that? Smending paste. How much do I have? Seven. What am I going to need? More stone. Let's see if we can get that going. I might have more stone here. Let's just hit a thousand. Okay. Probably not. I might need a little bit more, but I'll get a grill going at some point. Definitely worth it. It's gonna cost 40, so I need just a little bit extra. I could probably just go around and hit up the beaver dams though. Once we have the RG, it's gonna be a lot, it's gonna be a lot easier. So, uh, aircon, I guess. This doesn't require polymers, so that's fine. Aircon. Did we make a fridge? Did we get that? I don't think so. Let's go ahead and make a fridge. How much polymer do I have left? A little bit. I don't have enough for one of these though in terms of electronics. All right. So yeah, that's enough for now, I, I suppose. Let's pop down this generator then. It's already in my hotbar. Uh, let's put it down just over here. This is all temporary. I'll go ahead and build like a little workshop thing eventually here. So we can pick all this back up. It's S plus, so. And bam. And then if we chuck our gas in there, now this should run on the uh, the power from this, which is great. And aircon, not really very necessary right now, but we'll just have it here for the moment. And what is attacking? Oh, it's it's an RG, level fifteen RG and a dimorph. What? What's the dimorph attacking? All right, the mammoth should kill him. Yeah, we're good. All right, so fridge. For for there, I suppose that works. Uh, holy crap! Just everything's attacking. <laughs> um, what else did we have? I think that was it, right? We're gonna need to put these eggs away before they spoil. And then we could probably just go ahead and put our spoiled meat into there as well. All right, sweet. So that's gonna work for the moment. Uh, we'll of course have to get some more silica pearls, but we can get some from the beaver dams and I'm gonna be hitting those up as well. And we have a little bit more polymer. I'll see if I can do anything with that. Maybe even make a bed. I was gonna make one, wasn't I? Yeah, that was the thing I meant to craft. See if we can make one. Now we need more polymer. Don't really wanna craft it. All right, cool. So. I think the next step is, yeah, let's look for an RG. Um, I'll grab up my gear, and you know what? I'm just going to search around and see if I can find one. I'll pick up my trap that's on the other side of that mountain, and uh, we'll try to trap up an RG again. Okay, so we've got a live one. Ah, oh, it stopped following me again. Damn it. All right, come on. Hey, no. Come on, follow me. What is that that I hear? Oh, it's a compi. Hello. All right, let's go this way. So I've set up the trap further up this way. It's kind of like on the outskirts of the base. Can you just continue to follow me, buddy? Oh, by the way, did I even mention? This is a 150. <laughs> I don't even think I showed it off. All right, hang on. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and just... Come here. 
We got him. All right, so I'm gonna leave you there for the moment, and need to get this RG to follow me into the pen. So I've done it correctly this time. I didn't realize that you actually had to have a gap to walk out here. This makes a lot more sense. So this is an RG trap. Pretty simple. Uh, is that him over there? Yeah, it is. He might move, so I don't know if I wanna shoot from here. Uh, come on. Don't. Hey, come on. Get aggroed on me. Ah, oh, he moved. Freaking moved. I don't want to shoot him with an actual bullet because it's going to do a decent amount of damage, but I need to get his attention. Damn it. Alright, here it goes. I'm just going to shotgun near him. I just need to hit him with one tiny little bullet so he aggroes. Should I... Okay, whatever. I'm just going to long neck at him. He keeps flying away. Come on, turn around and fight me. <laughs> Sweet. Alright. Try and get a couple shots in on the way. Okay. Gonna keep him on me for now. Oh no, raptor, why? Why does there have to be a raptor? No! Why? Where'd you even come from? Stupid raptor. Why'd you have to ruin the day? Oh man, well, the raptor's like a, not a high level, so. Okay, the RG's in the trap, we're good. Whew, <laughs> he went in anyway, so yeah, we got him. It does look like he can get out, that's good. All right, freaking raptor. Oh man, let's just reload this just in case, and then this as well, because I'm afraid. <laughs> Alrighty, so we've got the RG all trapped up. This is going to be pretty easy from here. I'm actually going to go for headshots if I can. I don't think they make a difference, actually. Does it even work with headshots on an RG? I'm not sure if it does. All right. Well, we're going to knock this thing out, and uh, then I will tame it up, and we'll probably just show it off before we end off the episode. This is the new RG. It's also a female as well, which is good. I think at this point, I should definitely try to get a decent level male, and uh, we can do some breeding with them. Try to get a better RG. But uh, yeah, I will see you guys in a little bit. Bam. All right, we got our RG. Hello. We put the saddle into you, but I forgot to put it on. There we go. Sweet, so let me see. Stats wise, stamina is trash, <laughs> but health is decent. Melee's okay-ish. Weight's okay, yeah. Not, not the worst RG, but definitely not the best one either. Alrighty, well, this is the new RG. We're gonna try and get another one at some point. I mean, I have the trap here, so all I'd have to do is just look in the winter biome, see if I can find another decent level one, and then just drag it straight out. So I think I'll probably end up doing that. Maybe in the next video we can do some RG breeding, we'll see. Because it would be nice to have a little bit of a better RG because they are quite useful. But either way, that is the end of today's video. If you guys have enjoyed it, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. And we'll be seeing you in the next one. Was it episode 30? Wait, no, not episode 30. We have 34 episodes left. Oh, man. 